In this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna create a line sweep transition. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So this transition is actually very easy to do and doesn't take too much time to set this up. So let's just jump right into the tutorial and let's get started. All right, so we have two photos in here and we just wanna swipe a transition between these two. So let's grab the rectangle tool and we'll draw out a long rectangle, kind of just like this. And we'll go to the, maybe change the color of this, maybe to like a primary color of like a logo or whatever theme you're trying to do. And maybe we'll keep it like that. And then we'll go into the rectangle one properties here, go to the transform and let's set the rotation to like 55 degrees. It doesn't really matter what rotation you do. You just gotta be able to figure out what you want. So that should be fine. And let's add a keyframe for position. And we'll go ahead and just drag this off screen like this. So basically we'll there'll be no animation for a second and then we'll go to like two seconds here. And we'll just have this go all the way across like this. And if we want, maybe we can stretch out this keyframe a little bit longer because since we're doing like a meet in the middle transition, this will basically uh, be completely gone at this point right here in time. So it's basically a second transition, but this gives me extra handles just in case I want to, you know, adjust this a little bit later. So pretty decent. And then let's go ahead and close up rectangle one. Let's duplicate it. And we're not gonna move this around. We're gonna only move the position keyframes. So let's go into the transform rectangle two here and let's offset the keyframes by a touch. And that should be perfect. Let's go to the fill. Let's change the color to white and let's lower the opacity down to like 40%. So now we'll kind of see through it. And let's put rectangle two underneath rectangle one so we don't see that white, uh, you know, that sort of uh, opaque look on top of the orange here. And let's grab, you know, maybe rectangle one again and go into the transform properties and offset the position keyframes to come towards the end here. And of course we can come into like the size here and we can change up the size and then readjust the position keyframes. Remember, do not move this manually or your entire transition will be completely, you know, offset. But if we take a look here, we'll see all three of these layers move together. And so far so good. So basically we're gonna wanna go through here, you know, maybe take the clear, uh, you know, transition here. And it all depends what you wanna do, but uh, go ahead and take uh, rectangle four here, go back into the transform and just offset this. And basically we can repeat this pattern for as long as we want. And what I suggest doing to create some variation, just make some of these like a little bit bigger and just offset the keyframes. And if you want, you can also, you know, maybe change the opacity by a touch, make it a little bit interesting. And then of course, you know, to complete this, we'll go here, take our middle rectangle here, which should be like rectangle three, duplicate that, and we'll just offset that. So now we have a very basic design. It's not the most perfect thing in the world, but you know, you guys get the general idea of how we can make some amazing things with this. So on one hand, just change the palette a little bit here, but uh, you know, here's our transition. So let's go ahead and just mask this all together. So let's grab the pen tool, make sure shape layer one is selected and go to the top here and, and click on tools, create mask. And we'll come right here, we'll zoom in here. And we're gonna add a point right here in the corner. Boom. And we'll go all the way to the top corner here over here. And that should be okay. And it's not, it's okay if it's not hundred percent perfect, but we'll go here and close this up. And now this will basically be completely cut off like that. Of course, if we need to change the rotation of our mask, we can just hit UU on our keyboard and we can just change the rotation to like 60 degrees for each of these layers. And that will kind of match things up perfectly for us. All right. So now that is you know, working out beautifully for us. And then let's come here, let's duplicate shape layer one. Let's go to layer, transform, flip horizontal and flip vertical. And that should be pretty good. As you see, they're converging in the middle here and they're basically being cut away just like that. So now we all we have to do is transition our two photos together and then we're basically done. So let's go ahead and grab our top photo here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some mask. So we want the photo to pop up right here and we still want to see the original image right here. So all we're gonna do is go to like the middle point here of our image. And so all we're gonna do is, you know, do the same exact sort of mask all the way across like this, trying to keep it very consistent. And we'll come here and close this up and make sure you're kind of in that, you know, second, uh, you know, sort of shape there. We'll go ahead and open up mask one, add a keyframe for mask path and We'll back it up to the beginning and we'll just come here and back this up completely. And we'll have to scrub through this. It might have to adjust this by a touch, 
But as you can see, it's sort of staying on that second line there. And as long as it's pretty consistent, we're pretty good. And that looked awesome. So basically now we just gotta do the same exact thing again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate our mask one like this. And we can go right into say the transform mask here and delete the keyframes. We're gonna go ahead and select our two points on this mask and just flip it to this side, right? And we'll add a keyframe for mask path. Go to the first keyframe and we'll just go here and animate it off to where it lines onto that second line. And we scrub through here. We might need to make some adjustments, but we'll take a look what we got first. And you know, that fell along pretty good. And what I suggest doing, as soon as this, as this mask you know disappears, like right here, go ahead and just go up to, make sure photo two is selected, go up to edit split layer, and go ahead and hit M on your keyboard and delete the mask, because that will get rid of the cut in the middle of the screen, and now you're back on your original image. So now you just created a very simple, you know, but I guess elegant transition that looks really nice. So. And if you want, go ahead and turn on motion blur for basically your shape layers and turn it on at the top. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And I think it looks really awesome. And there's tons of uses for this. You can do it in just any other sort of direction or you don't even have to do it meet in the middle. Uh, but this kind of gives you guys the idea how to set this up properly and create some awesome transitions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.